With its factory tuning and data center DNA, an Intel 730 series SSD is an amazing choice for gamers and performance enthusiasts. Now I've looked at 10 keyless keyboards in the past, but I'm a heavy number pad user, so I've never really forced myself to use one for an extended period of time. Cooler Master was all like, okay, well, we're gonna send you one, but you have to actually use it. So I said, okay, make sure it has brown switches on it and I'll consider it, so they did, so now I really have to try it. Blah. Now if you don't know what a 10 keyless keyboard is, then prepare yourself for a shock, because it's missing a lot more than 10 keys versus a standard 104 key layout. Actually, 17 keys, because the number pad and all the other nearby keys are all not there. The reason for this is that it's actually more ergonomic to have your mouse closer to the standard home row typing position than a standard keyboard allows. The way most people end up compensating is either by typing too far to the left, which causes strain, or by moving their mouse hand over too far to the right, which also causes strain. And this isn't marketing BS, it's just fact. The sacrifice that you make, especially if, like me, you use your number pad a lot, is that it's not there. And and especially at first, I found myself reaching for that part of my keyboard a lot. Even little things like clicking on something and then trying to press the bottom right enter key drove me bananas at the beginning. So that's 10 keyless keyboards in general, but I guess I should get into some specifics about the Rapid Eye from Cooler Master. True to CM Storm's usual MO, it's a solidly built mechanical keyboard featuring Cherry MX switches and a really pleasing matte black soft touch finish with laser etched keys. It's got a full backlight, in this case white, with five levels of brightness, which you can adjust just like that, and a few cool lighting modes that Cooler Master is branding active lights, including full illumination, breathing, two different types of reactive typing with or without a fade out, and four different profiles that can be programmed and then recalled in just a few seconds. So you can pick which keys you want illuminated. I made a little squiggly line across the keyboard. It's got media controls that can be accessed with a function modifier, and one more cool feature, something I've only seen a couple of times, is that it's also got repeat rate control. This is less useful for typing since it affects how fast a key that you're holding down down will repeat on the screen so things get out of control pretty fast. 1x is normal and looks like this, while well, 2x looks like this, 4x looks like this, and 8x is just ridiculous. But gaming is a different story, and this will come in handy for commands that you want to execute repeatedly much faster than you can press the button repeatedly. Quick time events where you need to mash the button? Ha! Huh. Bring it on. All right, so back to the 10 keyless experience as a whole for a bit. I did, almost immediately, notice the improvement in my mouse and comfort for general computer use and for gaming. Even though for quite a while it weirded me out to every time I took my hand off my mouse to press a key on the right side of the keyboard and just be missing, um, at least that's not an issue for gaming when really the left side of the keyboard is the only part that's in use. So overall, after my trial period, I'm not quite ready to make the switch. I think I'd need to pick up a USB mechanical number pad to use on the right side of my mouse, something a lot of 10 keyless users who use number pads do, and try that out a little bit before I commit. But what I will say is I definitely liked the improved ergonomics of not feeling like my posture is either too wide or shifted too far to the left. And if I was shopping for a 10 keyless today, the Rapid Eye would have my attention since Cooler Master is using genuine Cherry MX switches on this model, and the build quality overall is nice and solid. Thanks for watching, guys. The link for where to buy this product is in the video description. As always, it includes pricing. I don't usually talk about pricing since it changes all the time. Anyway, that's all below the like, dislike, and share buttons, which I'd love for you to use accordingly. Also in the video description is a support link where you can buy a t-shirt, give us a monthly contribution, or change your app Amazon browser bookmark to one with our affiliate code so we get a kickback whenever you buy lemons or whatever it is people buy on Amazon these days. That helps us out a lot, so thank you for watching, and as always, don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.